Hi, and welcome back to Star Conflict Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll tell you all you need to know about resource farming required to build your ships, guns, and modules. The easiest way yet is to play and win PvP or PvE battles. After every match, you will have a chance to find a valuable resource among the spoils of war, such as a monocrystal, some beryllium, or neodymium. You can also find a part for a premium craft, if in that particular battle you have used a machine of the rank equal to the premium craft in question. Nowadays, you can get parts for frigates such as Pelom, Archelon, and Brock, gunship fighters such as Ghost and Stingray, plus Kite E and Karut interceptor parts. This list can be expanded in the future, bear that in mind. Besides, your first daily victory in any game mode is guaranteed to yield you some valuable resources no matter what. Now, if you do special missions, you can get up to three such resources, one per each difficulty level completion. But to unlock that reward, you will have to fulfill certain requirements. For example, if you're fighting the destroyer, you must preserve at least half of the outposts. Bear in mind that rewards are unique for each tech level, so it really pays off to complete these operations on all three difficulties. Originally, there are just three trophy search points, but these can be expanded. If you spend some premium currency on a special device called the Prospector Drone or purchase the DLC called Soldier of Fortune, while having premium subscription at the same time. Okay, let's move on to faction leader and broker missions. The reward for these is usually fixed and known in advance. If you want more of those done, get premium subscription. These tasks are well varied. Some NPCs will ask you to venture into battle and find a particular resource. Some will ask to borrow a couple of your spacecraft, while others will send you into open space. For doing broker missions, you will get credits, synergy points, or loyalty vouchers. Open space has fewer missions available to it, but these yield a particularly valuable resource, a monocrystal, which can be done once per day for each faction. To accomplish these, you will have to tackle aliens, escort convoys, and destroy pirate space stations. Trust me, you will not be bored easily. Open space missions can be also used to try your luck scanning space debris and asteroids for loot, which can get you different resources and Mark V blueprints. Another stable source of monocrystals and loyalty vouchers is the Star Conflict League. It yields up to four monocrystals per day for novice players. All you have to do is participate in four battles and earn 15 effectiveness points in each of the battles. These players that end up on top of the league will get two extra monocrystals for their effort. There is also a distinct way of getting xenocrystals, the resource which is used to produce alien-based weapons and modules. Conrad Demani from the Illidium is here to help you do just that. You can sign a contract with him at the Illidium Theta station. You can also receive some resources required for alien tech from Arthur Gage, if you lend him some of your ships. This is pretty much the same way the destroyers of rank 4 were built a little while back. But the time was ticking back then, the players had only a single month to build their craft. Similar time limits were also issued upon the Dark Gunship Fighter, the Gargoyle Frigate, and the Nightingale Interceptor. I should also mention that Arthur Gage has tasks for construction of additional special modules. This covers parts for the Styx Frigate, the Sword S Fighter, and the Hyena Fighter, plus the Karut Interceptor. Do note that you can get fragments for only one specific module at the time. You can pick the desired module you want to build in a corresponding slot, basically. Well, for those who are too busy to do missions and seek trophies, we have a number of packs on offer with all the resources you need, right in our game store. This is it for this episode. See you in space.